Who would I pick? I, I can't say. I Why can't not? say because I don't know who I'd pick. <laughs> <laughs> Fat man in a little <laughs> jacket. Questions have got to be asked from within the Dragons how they buggered this one up. Mate, I, every time I watch him, I get nervous. He plays so hard. Mm. He dives on loose bodies and everything. <laughs> anyway, my phone rings at home this day, and I'll pick it up. Hello, Andrew. It's Wally Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Gents, we're back. You ready to rock? Ready to go. I'm always ready to rock. Here we go. Oh! Get flicked and get flicked up! Get an ambulance. <laughs> get an ambulance. <laughs> Boom. Right off his stock. Right off his melon. Oh, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> With a long range shot, the arm's up. It's a point. He was one of the great days. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Freddie and the Eighth after a week off last week because of a reasonably big rugby league game over in Adelaide. It's good to be back in the studio with the boys. Andrew and Brad. Matthew. Matthew. You well? Good, mate. Good, good, good. What's news? Eggs don't bounce. Don't eat yellow snow. There's another thing. <laughs> oh, you should save that. We usually do that at the end of the show. Mm. How are you going? I'm good. Yeah? Feeling good. Yeah? Positive? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just Did you know the last time a New South Wales team levelled a State of Origin series in Queensland? Do I know? No. You know when it was? No, I haven't. You were both playing. There you go. 1998. Is that with Tommy? And do you know that was the only series where the away state has lost? All Sorry, has won all three games. So Queensland won game one. It was Darren Lockyer's debut. You guys won at Suncorp and you came back for the decider and Queensland won. And that was the game where your brother played hooker. There was a... And he got beat. There was, a, there well, was a, a, an months. illness sweep through the camp. It was Tony Butterfield's only origin game too. Ah, oh, butter. How do I know that? Because butter I've just done a podcast about it all. Uh, on the show today, are players getting their gear off too much? Not enough. No. <laughs> we've, got a board, we've got a board game to play uh, and a, a look, of course, at... Uh, round, is it round 15? Goodness me. What's, what's, ha what's happened to that calendar? Remember the calendar? Was it Graham Hughes and his wife used to yeah. do the... What was it called? Did you ever do it? No. What did they used to do? The, um, like the good looking roosters, and they, oh. had, they had a calendar. It, obviously, ET was there. Yeah. Wayne Pierce. You did it? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Was a... I don't think right. so. We did one at Penrith once. That's very funny. Did very you funny. Have something covering your appendage or yeah. dressed? Or? I had jeans on, actually. Oh, right. Okay. Sort of half done. Uh, anyway. Graham Hughes did it, didn't he? Graham Hughes and his, his wife. Yeah. What's his wife? She's in promotion company yeah, or something. Yeah. Oh, good. Anyway. More clothes off. I enjoy bumping into Graham Hughes. He's a good man. Good, um, good hair. Great hair. Was Ron Burgundy? Was that based <laughs> on Graham Hughes' life? Yes, it was. That's yes, what it was. Played, played cricket for New South Wales for many years as well, as being well, a top line rugby player. Yeah, we all have. Of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Um, now, speaking of players getting their kit off, what do you think about this over the weekend? I love seeing them give stuff away, but it gets a bit awkward when you're walking off the field nearly nud. Oh, pink. They're tradies. Packing heat. What happens with the She's gear they give away? Like, if they, if they give away their his, jumper, they, they, his, they get a new jumper every week now. He's got his mouth guard down the front there. I don't know. I, just, I, I can't believe they gave their shirt jumpers away. I can understand shorts and boots, because they've all got boot sponsors, which is pretty cool. Look, jumper, gone. It was funny, though. In the day, I would wear this one pair of boots the whole year. Yeah. yeah. I remember also when my first year at Penrith, I used to love wearing new socks because my calves used to get tight. Mm. At the end of the year, I got a bill for like 15 pairs of socks. What? I had to pay for them. I didn't realise. At Penrith. <laughs> I just saw you just got them. You know, hey, give me that, give me that. I had a bill for socks. So do you know, do the teams get a new jumper every week? No. No. You don't? You know what, I'm surprised that clubs let pl players, you know, they've still got COVID protocols, have they? They're, no. I don't no? think so. Anyway. So it's not just the players who can get their kit off. Some of the fans look to replicate the players over the years for getting their gear off. Now, there's old mate. Wow. Oh. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's raining. Did someone get nude in Happy Gilmore? Oh, he's old mate, streaking. Good. Who's reckon it cost him? 
He's lost in the game. He's got to tell us. Yeah, did Blake, but Blake streak and Happy Gilmore? Or oh, it might have been a woman. Wow. Look at this. What a circus. Oh, here we go. There's Freddie fit. with his mates in the shower. They can fit. Boom. Oh, oh look at your rig. Look at the shoulders and arms. Yes. Are you sure we haven't just put Joey's head on someone else's body? Now, there's a rig that we need to see more of. What about Scott Sorensen? Mate. What? That's unreal, isn't it? It's crazy, isn't it? It's like his one layer of skin. Look at it. Oh. He's at fit now, aren't they? What about his, the muscles on the side of his six pack? Didn't know they existed. Oh, look, she's sucking it in too. He's yeah, sucking it. it in. I was surprised actually Nathan Cleary, when they sort of went in after the game. He's just there in his undies in, like, you know, a pretty discreet part of the sheds. Mm. He's got cameras everywhere now. Yeah. He's a good looking bloke, Scott Sorensen. He's got magnificent eyes too. Him and Reese Walsh. Hey, I'm comfortable. Yeah, we can tell. Yeah. Uh, now we've got, I don't know where this idea's come from, but it might take a bit of managing. This is the producers. Rugby League <laughs> Noughts and Crosses. So the premise of the game is that we've well, got to block them, don't you? So yeah, this is really complicated. Well, you just Power pick someone. this way. You pick someone to go first. Okay. You go. No, I'm not playing. You're playing. Well, do so, we so, so do I go. Right? I go Rooster tonight. Well, you can no, 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 no. You want, right? So I go this. So if I start and go Penrith Bulldogs. Yeah. Okay. So I'll we'll say uh, Matt Burden. So I get the middle one. So F for Freddie. Yeah. Okay. Joey? You're next, Joe. You can choose. I'll go uh, Rooster tonight. There's yep. no rooster tonight. No, it's it's across and down. It's got to intersect. Well, Knights to Para. Para. Yeah. Jason Moody. Right. J for Joey. So I'll go uh, Penrith Para. I'll go Paul Taylor. <laughs> this one. Now, okay, now, you've got to block him, so you have to go Penrith South. Okay, South Penrith. Jed Cartwright. Oh, well done. Nice. Find your bookie, son. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> bookie. Knight. South. I'll go Matt Parrish. Oh. Hang on. Yeah. Knight. Yeah. South. He played for both of you. Yeah. Matt Parrish. Yeah. Did he? Played for South. Yes, Matt Parrish didn't play for Newcastle. Oh. Matt Parrish. Yeah. Um, Who are you talking about? Who's the big front rower? Parson, Matt Parson. Oh, Matt Parson. Hang on, hang on. This is. Are you a protest? No. Matt Parson. No. He can have it. Now, here's the board, right? Hey, look. Pretty. So I go Rooster, South. If you like, yeah. Latrell. Oh, there's Mick Crocker. You can just. You can win it here. So I'll go. No, 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 no. I went up the top. Rooster, no. South. Rooster, South here. Oh, what could I have gone up there? You're not getting this, are you? You could have gone Roosters Para. Michael Jennings. But too late. Freddie, Freddie's won. Yes. There we go. Okay. What a good game. Well, Can we do Murray. that every week, Murray? Yeah. That would be fantastic. Anyone who's struggling to sleep, just watch that for three or four minutes. Yeah, on and, repeat. And you'll be catching blowflies. You, you really didn't get that. No. Yesterday's hero, Stupid boys. Game. Great to have it back after a fortnight missing. Who have we got? And I don't even know. Oh, by got. Sattler and Sattler has had some big tackles this afternoon so mm. far. Fittler with a dummy. That was a shepherd. Fittler over the top. For look at the line, sir. Oh! It's over. They're going to check it with a video referee. Is it one of the players? There was an open line. Let's check it. Oh. I didn't even know he played for them. Todd Payton. Todd Payton. Well done, Freddie. Did you know Todd Payton played for the Roosters? Yeah. Huh? One year, apparently. Yeah. He, uh... There was a house of grouse where they all used to live. Oh, There's there? some nasty stories about the house of grouse, but apparently he was like the accountant. So there was, there was some... Likeable. Likeable. Who else was there? Crocker was there for a while. I think Minnie Minnie? was there. <laughs> Pure piggery. Are these stories yeah. are yeah. appropriate yeah. We for... We can't no. go into them. No. But apparently, yeah, he, uh, he looked after it. So Todd Payton, yeah, front row. There you go. Now, he, he is coaching... The weirdest team in the comp at the moment. One could talk about great cricket. This is a great cricketer. Was he really? Yeah. yeah. Keeper as well. 
A keeper. He's a keeper. Front I remember seeing him play juniors for Canberra back in the day. Yeah. It was the halfback in front row as well. Yeah. Playing. So yeah. skillful. I still love, he was one of the only front rowers. He'd stand on the back and when the kickoff would come, you know, normally the halfback stands there. He'd, he'd just, he'd call it mine. Just great hand eye. So he'd run onto it, call mine midair, hit it at pace. Mm. You wouldn't dance that often. He's got a well, seriously. You don't see it ever. No. You don't have a front row to catch the ball. <laughs> Not a chance. I've seen I've seen a couple of halfbacks catch it recently on those kicks that sort of land in speaking the Speaking of land. speaking of Matt Parsons, we had a deal. I used to give him one kick for touch every year. So we'd get a penalty and it'd have to be like four metres from the sideline. He'd come <laughs> over and he'd go, What about now? So runner. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> a couple of times he went to kick it and it, like dribbled on the <laughs> ground. Or One of your best passer. Um, yes, the Cowboys. How, how do you get a line through them? Like, they decimated Melbourne at the weekend. Well, they've had yeah, a lot they've of injuries. They've been awful. They've had injuries. They haven't had a great. I think they've even come out. N Jeremiah Nene, as she said, I didn't have a great off season. So they've admitted that they probably dropped their card a little bit, which is you know some young players can do. They're getting their players back. I've got to say, their forward pack, I think it would be up there with the best in the comp. Cohen Hess, Jordan McLean, Rhys Robson, Jeremiah Nene, Heelam, Heelam Lukey and Taumalola. Reuben Cotter. Reuben Cotter. Oh. It's a pack and a half. So, just before I get your comment, Freddie, this is what Gus had to say on 100% footy on Monday night, which blew a few people away, but maybe makes a little bit of sense. Have a listen. I'm going to say this. Cowboys can win the comp. What? Cowboys can win the comp. But a lot of things have got to go right between now and the end of the year for them to get in that sort of upper echelon and contention. I don't see any other teams beating Panthers at the back end of the year. South, you don't think South? You know, they've got some good players to come back into that side. Tom Malolo hasn't been playing. Nene's just come back into the side. I think that uh, whatever it was last year's carryover, maybe they didn't have the off-season, the World Cup, whatever it is, but you can't do what they did the other night and not have tremendous ability. To put 45 points on the Storm says to me that it's still there if they can just find it on a consistent basis. And when you look at the competition table... All right, Freddie? Mm. Well, I still think they're very capable of making the semis. But to get into the top four, like, mm. you know, and history says you need to get into the top four. I, they, don't, see the, I don't see it. They still haven't had a buy. No, they've got, no, they got a buy this week. Yeah. They've got their first buy this week, which will be very timely. But, yeah, I wouldn't say they could win it. I'd say they could make the semis definitely. I don't think any team in the NRL modern era has been beaten by any more than 40 and won the comp. I think that's a stat. They got rolled, yeah, they got rolled by Middow. Where is he? Well, 50, well, got, I know, is the case. You can't, well, it might be 50. 50. Well, they got beat by 66. So, if they do, they've got to break history. I'm not saying they can't, but... It, <coughs> It's At their very best, and at Brisbane's very best, or South's very best, or Penrith's very best, I'd say no. But they're a dangerous team. They've travelled so poorly this year. But in their last three games in Sydney, the 66, Cronulla towed them up, and there was another one in between that. Was it... Uh, I can't remember, but it's something like 140 points in three last three games in Sydney, at least. Jeez, he was good, semi Bellamo. Bellamo. Hat trick? Yep. yep. This bloke's the one, Hulam Luki. Holy that pass was forward. Smokes. Yeah. Yeah. That was hilarious. You worried about Melbourne? Uh, oh, yeah, there's huge turnover of players. <clears throat> they, lose, um, they lose their centre. Justin Ollum. Justin Ollum. Jeez, Reese Robson was good. He was one of the best. It's more and more work every year for Melbourne. Mm. It just, you know, I think every now and then someone comes in and goes to a next level. It's hard to do that every year. Best dummy half passing I've ever seen on the weekend. Best defence. Jeez, a good player. Tough. He's so good. Um, on the subject of Melbourne, Jason Riles is going to head there where he spent some time early in his coaching career and played there, of course. But Freddie, he's been punted from the Roosters straight up. Yeah. Well, you know what, I think the Roosters have sat there. They've been one of those clubs, a bit like Melbourne, where a lot of coaches will go and learn. Uh, they see them as good systems. And I think other clubs also see them as places to get their next coach. I think if you look at out of Melbourne and out of the Roosters recently, that would have um, 
they would have dished up a lot of coaches. I think Justin Holbrook, Adam O'Brien, uh, Paul Green started at the Roosters. And you look at Melbourne as well. Uh, Parramatta, um, Brad, Brad Arthur, like mm. nearly all of them have gone through those Adam was systems. down there. Michael Maguire was down there. It just goes on and on. So I think they just, you know, it was at the stage where they also need, I think he'll sign for next year, is that right? <clears throat> I think yes. Fitzy actually held off from going to a club to see out his contract. And but Fitzy had, Fitzy did commit to go to Cronulla midway through the year. I think Jason Rolls is signed until next year. Right. I'm pretty does sure. Does it make a difference? Yeah, it I mean, does. Well, why you, does it make a difference? Well, like teams, you have a plan, you have a progression plan, and you, you know, like players are used to hearing people's voices, and you know, I think they're used to. But what was it? Right? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pop something for you. Okay, hypothetically, Jason Rolls does take the Dragons' job next year. Yeah. For the rest of the year this year, how much focus in a percent would be on the Roosters? Compare. Do you think you'd be, you'd be putting 50% into this year and 50% well, into next year? I can imagine the hours would be the same, but there's the heart the same. Because you'd have your head doing one thing and your body doing another. You know, you could do both, but your heart's got to be in it. And if I'm the Roosters, I'd be, you know, I'd, I'd be getting jack of it, to be honest. Well, right. the Adam O'Brien thing was a bit like that, I think. Okay. You know, he walked away from a contract. I think Fitzy actually saw out his contract. So, yeah, I'd be... Um, Fitzy saw out his contract, but you'll, you'll remember that he was signing players to play at Cronulla midway through the season when he was still yeah. at the Roosters. He signed Nico Hines. He signed Cameron McInnes. He might have got Finucane. Well, he also built up a few more credits, Fitzy, at the Roosters. He'd yeah. been there for 10 years, didn't he? He'd been there for 10 years. He'd also played there for about 10 years. And, you know, I think uh, the, they just knew him better. So they figured they were still getting quality. Yeah. Are you surprised he's knocked back the Dragons job, Andrew? No. Well, he's going to sign. Something's wrong there. Something he wanted something in the clause. He wanted full. Uh, look, he's the boss. He's, he's the one with his neck on the line. Mm. Whatever he asks, he should have been given. Whether it was about his staff or his recruitment or whatever. Questions have got to be asked from within the Dragons. How they buggered this one up. Jason Rolls played for the Dragons. He lives down there still. I understand down in Wollongong. Mm. He wanted to do it. How they stuffed up this one, questions need to be asked. I think the other one they're talking about years too. I think some of the new the new system is going in and asking for five years. Someone else asked for five. Who was it? No, they agreed to four years. They that, agreed that to was... four, did they? Right. And then at the last hurdle, he pulled out. He, he obviously... And it hasn't been... He's obviously wanted complete control over maybe X, Y and Z. Well, we don't really know. So was it, a, was it an issue with the negotiations or did he just decide it wasn't, wasn't his go? No, no. Well, I think he pretty much agreed. Or That's what it looks like from the outside. And then he's gone and said, well, I want this. And they said, well, you're not getting that. And he's like, well, I'm the head coach. He's like, too bad. Right. He goes, like, Shh, okay. see you later then. Can I just throw a different one at you too? Now, there's speculation about what Ben Hunt's going to do. He'd signed for another couple of years, I believe. I can't blame Ben Hunt. Um, given the Dragons' current situation... And we all know how great a player Ben Hunt is. Would it be that bad for them if he was to leave? And to, to free up the salary cap to try and reshape their roster? Not necessarily. But I can understand Ben Hunt. You're going to have to lose a few more games. Ben Hunt's well, probably, probably going to happen anyway. Yeah. 32, Ben Hunt? Yeah. Does he want to play the last two years of his career playing hooker? No chance. Do you playing think that's what's going to happen? At the by Dragons? the sound of it, yeah. By the sound of it. I think they're V-marked that Sullivan and Amone yeah. and uh, Sloan are their long-term... Seven six one. Okay. Could you see an argument to let him go to try and free up that money? There's a yes, few spots there where they sure. need to solidify. For sure. Yeah. But well, I can I, I can understand Ben. This stage of his career, look at Origin Footy rep career. Hooker's his spot. Mm. Clubland playing twenty six rounds week in week out at thirty two. That's a big, big challenge. You've got a bad state on your shirt, I've just noticed. Have you been eating ice cream or something in the I car? Just, I just keep wearing clothes till they just hum. Unwearable. It's a very suspicious looking stain. Um, <laughs> here on Night's Wide World of Sports, <laughs> premiering the night before Origin 2, just to get you warmed up, the Wild World of Sports documentary on the great Wally Lewis, The King. Here's a snippet of it. Sometimes I used to Wally watch. That's how good he was. He'd sit in and fight front rowers. Can you believe the state of origin? 
He was like a, a movie star to me. Oh, he was the boss. He's always been the boss. Well, I've never spoken publicly about it. We need a new captain. I got a little bit dirty about it. Just said I, I suffer from epilepsy. <laughs> when he hit me in the throat, I could not breathe. Lewis in trouble. His impact on Origin footy, it's hard to fathom. He was an arrogant prick. And I think he thrived on the fact that he was hated. Oh, bring it on. If that doesn't get you in the mood for Origin I 2, can't wait nothing to watch, will. I can't wait to watch that. Yeah, super. Great bloke, the King, and great to see him honoured with our documentary. I thought I had, he, I had his <clears throat> last jersey, because I played him 5-8 in the last game. In Origin? <clears throat> Origin. Wow. And did you swap? No, I went to. I went up to him. I said, <laughs> do you want to swap? Did he go like that? What no. did he on you? He's actually pretty... I remember him being, uh, you know, uh, quite quite nice about him. Just said, no, I think I'll keep this one. Did you play in the game when MG and he you know what? went toe-to-toe? -to -toe? I got called down late because Chris Johns was sick during the day. And I walked down the tunnel and they, I was like the 18th man of the day. So yeah. I actually drove down with my mate on the day of the game. I went to the hotel... Yeah. And they said, uh, John, you're going to play, but we need you to go to the game. So I went in, went through the tunnel. Eric Cox yeah. wasn't going to let me into the ground. What's it? He was like the What's NRL the official. Oh, he was a nightmare. <laughs> anyway, so he wasn't going to let me in. And then Wayne Pierce actually leaned, leaned over the side and said, like, just snapped him out of him and said, mate, you've got to let him in. And I sat there, <laughs> it poured rain, and I left on the bell. Wow. I actually hung up on the king one day. I was just playing under 21s, just playing. And Gold Coast put an offer in. Like, oh. thank God I didn't go to Gold Coast <laughs> at 18. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> anyway, my phone rings at home this day, and I'll pick it up. Hello, Andrew, it's Wally Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> rings again. <laughs> Hello, Andrew, is this you? Yeah, it's Wally Lewis. <laughs> 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 the third one, I picked it up. Hello. And he might have said some things. I went, oh, it's the it is you. It's the king. It's the king. <laughs> oh, the king. How good. Thank God I didn't go to the Goldie. Oh, they had seagulls then. Chargers? Been charges? Giants? No, seagulls, no, no, giants. Seagulls. Who else have they had? Titans. Giants. Giants. I think that's it. Seagulls. It's only been four. Oh, yes. They made... They made... Was it the top ten in 19... Was it 98? Remember they made the final? And Phil Economides was coach of the year. Remember the great Phil Economides? Yeah. He works in the mines Does up he? in North Queensland, I believe. Um, great news, potentially, for New South Wales. Brad, mm. Tom Trebojevic is going to play for Manly on Friday night. Had the concussion ruling reassessed. The club actually said he wasn't concussed at any stage. So maybe a little bit of extra caution shown in uh, Origin 1 on Wednesday, gone in Adelaide. But he gets another run to convince you he's right to go for Game 2. Beautiful. That's all. That's all. OK. So, so, so say that again. They said he wasn't concussed. The club has said that they're not jeopardising his health at all because he was never mm. concussed in the first place. And so, so there's a whole series of tests that need to, need to be satisfied. And I understand Reid Marnie's going through the same process as well with Canterbury hoping to play this week. Yeah, she when it happened, I thought Tom was more winded. But you can't question the integrity of... Dr Nathan Gibbs, who was there? Well, I think it was the independent doctor. Oh, the independent doctor. OK. Well... What, was it the independent doctor, Freddie? The independent so doctor is... They're, they're in the uh, bunker. Mm. Yeah. Was there an independent doctor at the ground? There would have been, for sure. So, <coughs> but I think it was the... Was it the... <coughs> Actually, no, I don't know if they're at the ground or not. It's just a process. In fact, he, he, he would have got sent straight for an HIA because he got collected high. Yeah. Because Flegler was put in the bin, of course. And then he failed... He failed it, which means he's got the 11-day stand down. So they've challenged that. There's a process to go through, and, and that's been satisfied. So Nathan's gone, eh? That didn't work. It's not great timing, is it? No. Were you watching live when it happened? What's that? When Nathan went down with his hammy. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Did you go down with a hammy? <laughs> I just went, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Mate, I, every time I watch him, I get nervous. He plays so hard. Mm. And he dives on loose bodies and everything. But he wasn't running full pelt, man. He just sort of turned around yeah. and, and broke into a bolt truck. I don't think I've ever seen him play a game where he hasn't. Like, there were games where at half you could...
put a dinner suit on and kick your weight or win. And I don't see him play many games like that. Where he seems to be up to his eyeballs and everything. So I know you won't tell us, but can you at least <clears throat> tell us this? Have you decided which direction you're going to go in? Mate, I'm watching this week's games. That's all you're getting. Can you ask him something? So there's four, there's four. There's Nico, um, Jerome, Luai, and Reynolds, Cody, well, there's five, and Mitchell Moses. Those five out of that five. Mm -hmm. Someone threw a left field one up to me this morning, actually. He said, do you reckon uh, Latrell could play 5-8? I said, of course he could. He wouldn't have played for a month. Yeah, I know. But he plays well fresh. So, one more weekend. Do you have an opinion on it? Well, it's hard because... One week to go, you don't want to put all your eggs in and then all of a sudden two go down this weekend. Well, if you're picking one. it now, who would you pick? Who would I pick? I, I can't say. I Why can't not? say because I don't know who I'd pick. I haven't given it that much thought. Look, if you're going up there to Suncorp with the series on the line, you, there's, do you need someone who's fresh who just gets, gets out there and plays or do you need experience? Do you need combinations? All that sort of comes in. You've got right side players of the field like Reynolds, Hines, Moses, and then you've got left side predominantly players like Luai and Cody. So that all has to go in. Combinations, the combinations with the dummy half and Tedesco. Well, Monday, the, well, Sunday the, night. Will, will, the, will the scenario that no, you have Tuesday. to go Tuesday. Team, team gets named by Tuesday lunchtime. But Sunday night. No, no, dogs play who? They play dogs, Monday. Dogs play who? Para. So Moses. Wally Lewis's birthday weekend. Okay. Yeah. Well, However well, you go watching all of them play. Just, it is what it is. There's a scenario, Brad, that you've got to go up and win. Is that a factor in your selection? Like, what sort of questions that? Well, I'm trying to, man, I'm trying to ask you some questions here. Like, you've got, to, you've got to go up yeah. and you've got, to, you've, got, you've got to win the game, right? So is that, you, mm. you can't pick a conservative team, can you? Man, I'm picking I'm a saying. team. I pick a team Tuesday after watching the games over the weekend. Right. Well, it's your show. I'm just trying to ask some questions. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Mate, can you blokes have a cuddle, please? <laughs> I love him like a brother. <clears throat> I knew they wouldn't yeah. want to talk already. It's not talk brotherly love. No. Do you want to talk about cricket? Well, the, Any the, interest in the cricket, boys? The, the Ashes start next week, and before that, well, it's hard, Australia Mate, it's play India We're, tonight, that's, that's starting tonight. tonight. You got an opinion on that, Freddie? Is that the, uh, the world champ? The world champ. Is this the, the first world test time? Championship. Is this no, the, the second first time? time. Second time. Who won first, the first one was 2021. New Zealand beat India. Did New they? Zealand. Yep. A bloody good side, New Zealand. Vittori, did he play? Are all the guns playing? Daniel yep. Vittori. Daniel Vittori. They're all in. Left arm. He's the, do you know he's an Australian assistant coach now? Did you just say Daniel Vittori's a pie thrower? <laughs> Mate, they come oh. in. Style that. He's played slow. two games for New South Wales. <laughs> just like tonking. Put him out of the ground. <laughs> Surely when they're sitting there batting and they're coming in throwing those big loopers, they just go, right. Mate, I think they're, I think they're a bit better than just loopers. OK, right? whatever. Do you know Daniel Vittori was the one that got Shane Warne out for 99? No way. <laughs> I can remember where I was that time. Yeah? Where? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Shoal Bay Pub. Uh, watching you the just pub. made that And, up. mate, the, whole, the whole pub was quiet. Oh. And then when he sk skied it and got caught, it was even quieter. So you probably remember, but you know that the replays of that have subsequently shown it was a no ball by about that far. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was no ball. Shouldn't have been out. And the, if, it was, if the technology was in now, he would have been. He wouldn't have been out. Wow. And he would have been 100. The king. Another king. Wow. Uh, yes. The Ashes. So what happens there? So that situation, right? He bowls a no ball. Mm -hmm. You hit the ball, he gets caught. You make a run in between. It's a run. It's a run. Mm -hmm. It's 100. So, 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 like, so like our game. You can't get out for no ball. We can only, we can only get run out. But doesn't it, isn't it a no ball on the sheet? Or yeah, is it a no run? It's two no balls. So, so every wicket, does their bunker check for... Or have they every got to challenge it? No, every, every wicket. wicket now, yeah. They do. So there's, yeah, they automatically check. The and first, like, the first shot you see is the foot. Okay. On the line. But even if there's no doubt, so say someone's been bowled, the umpire upstairs will, if it looks close, he'll have a look at it. It happens all the time now. Blokes are half off the yeah. field and they get told to come back because it's been a no ball. And there are so many wickets off no balls now. Now they're checking it. Will, it's crazy. Australia, will Australia win tonight? Are they favourites to win? Who are they playing, sorry? Are they? India. In England, what does, that, does that make a difference to it anyone? It swings there, very much. It? Yeah. Well, it's, it's more that suits conducive the to seam bowling. What's his name? Uh, Bowen? 
Scott Boland's in. Jeez, he's a good player, isn't he? Josh Hazelwood's not, not fit. Anything else? You said cracking. you wanted to talk about cricket. Well, yeah, well, we've got to talk about something. You're not giving me anything. Um, but the Ashes, you can see here on Nine's Wild World of Sports. Uh, that would be name? lovely. When's it on tonight? Ben Stokes playing. So this England? is the World Test Championship. It's on tonight. It starts tonight. Yeah. And then next week, the Ashes series starts. Ben Stokes playing for England? Ben Stokes is England now, captain. He plays like an Aussie. Mm, he is. You know he his dad. New Zealand. You know his dad played rugby league in England. Yes. Up north. I th did his dad play rugby league for New Zealand? Play one test, I think. Really? Yeah. Gee, we should have claimed him. Like right. Crowded House. Uh, on the subject of the Ashes, it is the jewel in the crown of world cricket, and it's here on Nine. One of the great rivalries in any sport. We're set to go. Set to go. June 16. Oh, Cricket's greatest rivalry. The Ashes are coming. And the only place you can catch it is on Nine. The Ashes, exclusively on Nine and Nine Now. Oh, yes. Cannot wait for that. Footy season, Ashes cricket, origin. Wimbledon coming up, French Open on stand. This is the place for sport, ladies and gentlemen. I'd love to go to an Ashes test. Have you been to an Ashes test? Or been to the cricket? Yeah, I've, been, I've been to the Glen McGraw one a few times. I've been to the... No, no, in Australia. In Australia. I haven't been in England. No, well, of course. No. I did a tour of Lords one day. It's the best thing ever. So I'm doing the tour of Lords. Anyway, walking around, this bloke on the ground goes, Hey, I'm a Knights fan. I said, oh, mate, it's good. He goes, I'm the groundsman here. Psst, come out in the middle of the field. Oh. So I went out. Walked around the pitch. Wow. And look around Lords. It was How incredible. Good. Well, I think well, this when, is where Bradman. When we went to England for our tour for the World Cup, we stayed at uh, Ellen what? Road. Yeah, we did. Oh, Headingley. Because they have the hotel. Either side. As part of the. So you, your room opens up onto the ground. <laughs> That's so And good. we stayed there. <laughs> what? <laughs> you imagined some. Imagine. Again. What? Well, you imagine scallywag bikes would get up there watching the cricket, up to all sorts of mischief. Mm. Oh, it'd be so much fun. I can't believe you get... What about the life this bloke leads? <laughs> turns up at Lords, the bloke, the bloke's a Knights fan who's the curator. Next thing you know, he's out there in the middle Who's of the field. Lords in London? I'm yeah. 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 Middle, of, middle of... Never been there. Middle of, I, I've because done, I've I've done that tour. It's, it's all awesome. like the old architecture from the early 1900s. And then there's a big alien thing there. That's, That's the, the media yeah. centre at the, the other end. Yeah. It just how many, how many does it hold? How many people? Uh, about 20 something, so it's not many. Oh. And when I did the tour, there, and I could be corrected, because of all the corporates and stuff, you only get about 10,000 public seats available per day. So it's like really hard to get in. It's it must for the be first day. those just... players coming over and like, you know, going to the SCG and the MCG and. Hmm. Well, there's some big Obviously grounds in like, England, you know, but, but they're 900,000. No, nothing like that. Nothing like the MCG. No, nothing like that at all. Boys, I reckon this is one of the good news stories of the year. And there are so many great stories in rugby league, we don't give them enough, enough um, limelight in the media. Jared Croker's... It's got Jason Croker here. Jared Croker's 300th NRL game. Yeah, have a listen to some of these numbers. And think about this in the context of why Ricky decided he wanted him to play his 300th at home. 48th member of the 300 club, 16th man only to play 300 games at one club, the second Raider to play 300 games exclusively for the Green Machine. He scored the most points, the most tries and kicked the most goals for Canberra. And this is the one that really shocked me. In terms of captaincy, he'll lead the Raiders on the weekend for the 163rd time, which has him equal... 11th most games captain in Premiership history with Darren Lockyer and Roy Simmons. Wow. That is quite a decorated career for a bloke who hasn't played. Two, players, two players have played 300 games and both last name Croker. I know. It's I know. And not crazy. related. Distant, Are they not related distant at all? Distant cousins. Right, okay. And probably two very different personalities. Yeah. The older toots. Mm. We could talk for hours on some of his stuff. Mm. Feel free. You know, he, he used to be able to get a putt on the goalpost and hold himself parallel Sideways, yeah. Yeah, like that. What? So strong. He was <laughs> had the strongest <laughs> bloke ever to play. Um, champion bloke, Jared Croker. Most Lovely tries. guy. 
Most tries, yeah. Most tries. That says a lot. And the other one, I haven't checked. I haven't checked the numbers, but he, I think he's like 50 games clear in terms of games captain for Canberra of Mel second. So that's that's a hell of a service to a mm. club. Yeah. If you're picking the top five goal kickers of all time, I think he'd be in my top five. Really? Yep. What's his percent, you reckon? Well, have we got his But he percent? kicks the big ones. He kicks the real big ones. There's been a few big games where he's nailed them. Mm. And really he's... good technique. The flight of the ball never sort of changes. You know, some goal kickers, they draw them. I always get nervous from his left because he puts a bit of draw a bit on. Bit of draw on him. So he needs to back himself and go outside the upright. Outside, yeah. But uh, Ed, he's got a nice shape. Mm. And it never changes. 81% he kicks up. Wow. The shape of his kicks never well, changes. Well, Nathan Burner, Nathan this year's, mate, Nathan this year's missed, this year. missed four goals or something like that. Oh, really? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Jinx. Um, well, well done, done. Jared well done. Kroger. Loves his racing. Races trotters. He had few, a really few good gallops race. as well. He had, he had a good race horse there for a while. Did he? Not his luck. Good fella. What Thanks a good fella. Good luck. Indeed. Jeez, that'll be hard to beat down there against the Warriors in the 300th game. Oh, I don't know. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure, a lot of emotion. It'll be a massive crowd. And after last week, Sticky, I still go back to Sticky's press conference. Even when we interviewed him and the producer saying, ask him about Jared Croker. <laughs> I said, what happened, mate? And he was all cranky and angry. The Muppets. <laughs> it was unreal. I think he was talking, might have been talking about me. If anyone could soften him up, Freddie, it's you. Now, let's talk about the games this week. How many points will there be in the Titans versus the Tigers in wow. Thursday night footy here on nine? 68. Uh, let's write this down. Yeah. 68 for Andrew. So, you know what? The Tigers' defence is actually not that bad compared to everyone else's. Hmm. So, I'm a bit nervous going into this game up there. And it's a nice night. Thursday night. I haven't played on a Thursday Fast night. When surface. would you think the Titans last played on a Thursday night? Do you reckon ever? Yeah, I don't know. But th they, they go so much better at home. How many points? Joey said 68. Uh, I'm saying uh, 54. 54. Murray? He's back too. Brimson? Brimson's back. No David Fafita. Yeah, no Fafita. But something happens to the other teams. When they get up to Seabus uh, Stadium, they forget to pack their shoulder pads because it's just all out touch footy. It's always high school. The South was the South last week? It was 42 Mate. Mate, They come down. First attacking chance, they scored. Second, they scored. Mm. They scored. I called that game on radio. I think there was 13 tries. Really? <laughs> I love tries. watching games like that. Do you? I love watching games like that. All out attack. That'll be uh, that'll be a pointathon on Thursday night. Now Friday night we're over to Four Pines Brookvale for Manly oh. up against the Dolphins. Now the Manly backline is their their full strength backline that they were going to pick at the start of the year, and I reckon this is the only time this year that they've been able to have it. So Garrick's gone to the centres. No Jake. Jake's a massive. Guy. I was saying before in uh, uh, our tips, LIA, who was, I thought he was their key last year, mm -hmm. he hasn't tossed up much this year at all, making heaps of errors. And I feel like he, he can do good. He's got enough footy in him to, um, you know, make up for Jake to a degree. He won't do his tackling, but... Mm. Jerry Marshall King comes back in for the Dolphins. Mm. I actually had a look earlier. Now everyone's talking about how they've got this injury crisis and they've got a lot out this week. They get a lot of players back in the next couple of weeks. Who's that? Uh, the Dolphins. Kafusi's going to come back from suspension. Now, Sean O'Sullivan's back in round 17. Yeah. Branko Lee's back this week as well. Um, there's a couple of others. Branko Lee limped off on the weekend. He's playing this week. He's playing. Yeah, he's playing this week. Um, but O'Sullivan, like we thought he was gone for the year, he's going to be back in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, so right. they actually, if it all goes to plan, and rarely does in rugby league, they might have, with the exception of Gilbert, close enough to their full strength team coming into the finals. Then they're in eighth place. They've had seven wins. That's so tight there. How yeah. many buys they had? That is they so had, tight. They had to go, yeah. they uh, had to I went through this the other day. I think they've had one buy. Okay. I think. Because I think Brisbane, yes, one South, buy. and um, the Cowboys, I think they've all had no buys. Mm. So the start of the year, their starting halves were Sean O'Sullivan. Wasn't and the young kid. Katoa. 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 Remember, Jeez, they got good. rid of Milford. Yeah. They got rid of Milford on the week. Jeez, he's been good. Uh, Katoa, mm. he's a good player. Manly Marshall or King, Dolphins? Gun. Uh, Manly. 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 Different team there at Four Pines. And Freddie, if Nico Hines plays well on Sunday, he'll be the Origin halfback, won't he? Let's just watch the games, Matt. Uh, Melbourne versus Cronulla. Down at Amy Park. 
This game's this had is a, a strange game, isn't it? had a rivalry there for a while. Did, yeah, Australia's yeah, yeah. beat him in the grand final. That's they? right. Over uh, 15. 16. A few clubs have had ding dongs. With... Broncos are always a big rivalry storm. Manly. Well, that was nasty, yeah. that rivalry. Surely they hit back. No, the Cronulla so. one was a bit nasty. The whole Gallon and all that. They used to just rip into each other. Gal, Gal had a rivalry against everyone. Gal brings that out in people. <laughs> Do you, you think like that hit one? his hand? That's yeah, right. I thought it did. <laughs> I was sitting there watching. They watched it five times and no one, no one spoke about it. It hit his hand. So Melbourne haven't conceded that many points in 20 years. Really? Mm. You wonder if the coach would be happy that he ticked on for another year. <laughs> like ever <laughs> since it's been pain. They don't, they don't put two performances like that together, do they? Especially Surely back they at home. They've been, uh, I went through their year. They've been beat convincingly a few times. They've had a few 30s. They had another nearly. They had a 38 yeah. against uh, might have been Canberra, mind you. But they've had a few. Oh no, it was 38, 34 against the Titans in round two. Against That's the Titans. That's when he blew up. They had a he couple of. They've had a couple of 28s and 30s. Like mm. they're big numbers for the you know mm. for what they're used to. Mm. What are you saying there? I mean, Cronulla probably should have won that game on the weekend. They had, had any number of chances to win that game. Yeah, they, did, they didn't. Brisbane defended too well. Brisbane, oh, that was a huge win. Yeah, that was a I big... worry about Sharks this year, and I, I keep going back to that Warriors game, where the Warriors, they were up by 20 points yeah. at home in Ooh. the wet, mm. and they got run down. Well, they haven't. I think the Sharks haven't beat a top eight team this year out of five cracks. Is that right? Mm. Wow. I remember that game against the Warriors because... I, I went there and didn't have to call. Oh, that's right. So I was on the sip. You did half time, though. And I got had a mate who had an all up going, one of those multis. And, and he's just he's doing the early crow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on tonight. Let's go and meet at the pub. I've got this five leg multi. Oh. <laughs> Find your bookie. Find <laughs> your bookie. With ten minutes to go, I'm sending that emoji of that piece of shit. <laughs> 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 and then, and after their first try, he's going ha 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 ha. And then after their third try. <laughs> Well, he yeah. had the prayer hand. <laughs> <laughs> I had the big. Oh, yeah, that's right. When they were winning, he sent B B B B B thumbs up. <laughs> that's done. <laughs> there goes the dog shit. <laughs> 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 then he's sending those tears. Those emoji things. They are so emojis. clever. Yeah. Emojis are unreal. Which one do you? Use? I only use the piece of. Shit. Nearly all the ones you. Use. If you occasionally <laughs> wrote, if you occasionally wrote back to a text, we'd find out what you what you said in your text Easily. messages. A lot of prayers, a lot of peace. I yeah. never do the peace. I do the peace all the time. I just use the piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the best one. Oh, I'd like to see her. Remember those stickers you scratch and smell? If you do that with an emoji on your phone. <laughs> Do you know what you can do? Because uh, I, uh, when you're with someone, someone drops their guts. Mm. And you go, oh, that stinks. And you go, I've got to have a smell. <laughs> <laughs> you're disgusting. Oh, we know that. Anyway, do Surely it. this ain't but, making the cut. Oh, but do it responsibly, kids. Do you know who does the worst farts in our house? Rosie the Cavoodle. Mate, oh, it's oh. off. So is yeah. our, so is our cat. Oh, the cat. Well, the cat gets blamed. It's generally yeah. me. It's generally Andrew. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you for your random story, but I think we may have just got it. Emojis. Any advice in the last couple of weeks? Uh, no. No. You no. ones at the start of the show were great. Huh. Yeah, don't eat yellow snail. Eggs and eggs bounce. don't bounce. Have you got anything for us? I really look forward to it. No. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. We're coming I wonder up if anyone has here. ever ate yellow snail. <laughs> Dumb and dumber when he puts his <laughs> tongue at least. <laughs> You could love to have a beer with anyone. That's a great Especially thing. after mm. after a, a bit of a sad, sad couple of days. Who would you like to get on the drink with? Who just, thinking of, uh, I'm Jim thinking Carey. Jim Carrey. Just to pull some faces. Jim Carrey would be hilarious. His faces are good. Chris Farley. Have you ever seen the Chris Farley tapes? You know, the big guy of Saturday Night Live. Go and Google Chris Farley and have a look at his stuff on Saturday There's Night Live. There's a movie called Black Sheep. Yeah, Black Sheep. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Boy. He's <laughs> good. <laughs> Fat man in a <laughs> jacket. He's just massive, big, ginger-haired bloke. <laughs> Huge. Do you know who would have been he great? He passed away, didn't he? Yeah, of course. He was, he was doing all sorts of scallywag behaviour. Yeah. Um, I know he's gone, but wouldn't Robert Williams cheer you up? Oh, yes. Is he's an Australian. We can fly in. Ben Dark. The <laughs> man from Getaway. Oh. Have you seen the clip where the, where the mud crab bites Ben yeah, Dark on the... That's what you told us two weeks ago. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, we'd have to find Dark, a room and lock him in. Ben Dark left an impression. <laughs> Did he what? Greats. All right, very good. Are we okay? We're going? Yeah. We're good. Okay. Emoji. Let's wait. That's, <laughs> that's Freddie and the eight. They want to leave, so we'll say goodbye and see you next week.